Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new here then hello my name is Kate I hope you're all doing really well. So I've never filmed this kind of video before and it's not my usual filming style either so I'm really intrigued to see what you guys think. But in today's video I'm going to show you guys what I have been wearing and how I style it and also my thought process behind styling outfits including some tips and tricks. So keep on watching if you want some outfit inspiration and don't forget to subscribe. I wore this outfit on Monday, I had some events and I was seeing people in and around London. So the look starts off with these H&M mum jeans. I wanted the look to be really tonal so I added this neutral knit from Charlie and it's super warm as well so I didn't feel the need to layer it at all. And then these trainers are from Axel Arigato and they're so great because they're so simple and they just look really sleek. They're also leather so they're really easy to keep clean as well. This coat is a new favourite from Giovanna London and it's really oversized however what you can do if you want it to be more tailored is tie it at the back in a bit of a bow and it gives it that more tapered look. It's a bit fiddly but um, it's good to have the option between doing this and then also tying it or just having it oversized. On its own this outfit is quite plain and boring so I wanted to add an accessory and it's so crazy how much an accessory can just bring an outfit to life. This scarf is from Naked but I've also styled this outfit up with a beanie as well. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. And then to finish the look I've gone for my Lady Dior bag and yeah this just ties everything in really nicely. This next outfit I have repeated a few times, but tonight was date night, so it's definitely quite an evening glamorous look. Starting off with tailored shorts and tights. And this next piece is the It Girl blazer from Olive Muse. Oh my goodness, I love it. Amazing quality, so many ways to wear it. But here I've gone for nothing underneath, so it's that nice low neckline. And it comes with these belts, which you can really cinch in at the waist. And then just this Diamante necklace as well, and my Victoria Beckham heels. I just love the look of heels and tights together in the winter. I think it's so elegant and sexy. And then finishing off the look with a bag, of course, with the outfit being so plain, I wanted something with um, some metal detailing, so my Chanel classic flap. Okay, and on to the next look. This outfit has the same tights and shorts, but this time going for a knit dress over the top. I wore this for another day in London. I had meetings and then I went shopping. And as you can see, it's very plain. So I added this Celine belt as a bit of a center point so you don't get lost in the outfit. Some chunky gold earrings as well to add a bit more interest and some knee high boots. I'll show you guys another way you can style this outfit on screen. So just with pattern tights and shorter boots instead of the long ones. And here's Oprah making a cute appearance. The coat I styled it with today is another one from Giovanna London. Their coats are just beautiful, they're handmade and look so expensive. It really reminds me of the Totem coats. This one also comes with a matching scarf, which is a really nice added layer to the outfit. And then just adding my new favourite, the Gucci Jackie. And overall, this outfit just feels really paired back and understated. I really love it. This next look is one I wore to the cinema to go see the new Babylon film and the tights are going to come in handy, you'll see in just a moment. But first I'm popping on my favourite Arquette trousers. I've actually just bought these in black because I love them so much. And then I'm going to be wearing a knit, so I wore a thermal underneath. This one is actually a skims top, um, I couldn't find my thermal today. But yeah, this outfit doesn't have a coat, so I wanted to be warm. And then wearing my H&M oversized grey knit over the top. And then this is where the tights come in handy. So what I do is I tuck all of the excess fabric into the tights. And what this means is you don't get any bulks and bulges and it just looks a lot more seamless with the trousers over the top. And then what I'll do is pull the jumper up and then over. And then this just creates a really nice seamless tucked look. Adding the coolest trainers I own, which are these Saint Laurent high tops. I always keep this little insert in them because it keeps them really nice and fresh. This video made me realize I really need a shoehorn. So here's just me struggling. Adding the chunky gold hoops because I feel like this is quite like a cool girl kind of outfit. My Dior bag because I think a black bag would have been too heavy and this just fits in with the nice neutral tones. And then finally just tucking my hair behind my ears to show the earrings off a little bit more. And here is the final look, super comfy and chic. I really enjoyed wearing this one. 
I wore this next outfit to go meet a friend for lunch. So starting off with this naked top and the same trousers as before from Arquette. And then as you can see, the outfit is quite plain. So just adding in a belt for a bit of added texture and a pop of um, gold as well. My trusty Converse. Honestly, I don't think these shoes are ever gonna go out of style. I love them so much. And I really love the pairing of them with such a tailored trouser because they're definitely more on the casual side. So together, this works really nicely. Adding gold earrings too, of course. These ones are from Astrid and Miu. And finally finishing off with my favorite coat from Pretty Lavish. This is such a great dupe for the Maximara ones and it's so warm and cozy and it just gives me that like rich mum vibe. This is when I found some bunny treats in my pocket, so I <laughs> had to go give it to the bunnies. And of course, finishing off with a black and gold bag to tie in with the belt. This next outfit I wore to an afternoon meeting, but then I had dinner straight after, so I had to fit for both. So I started the look with a pair of Zara wide leg tailored trousers and then a base layer underneath because the knit wearing over the top hasn't quite softened yet, it's still a little bit itchy. But it's uh, the mohair one from H&M, which I am obsessed with. I love the sleeves, it looks so expensive. And again, it gives me that totem designer kind of feel. My favorite part are the big wide bell sleeves, so gorgeous. And then again, it's a lot of black, so I wanted to add a pop of gold. So just using my Hermes belt and tucking in the top. And then finally adding a pair of high heeled boots because as you can see, these trousers are quite long for me. It also makes the outfit feel a little bit more smart and glam and elevated. And then for a coat, I'm just adding my Giovanna London one over the top again for that all black, really chic look. Um, it's also worth noting as well, with all of these outfits, I do wear sunglasses because, I don't know, they just finish off the look for me and um, I also use it to push back my hair. Gold hoops again, of course, to balance out the Hermes belt and finishing off with a black and gold bag again to, um, to complete it. And we're on to the last look. This is what I wore to Pilates and then to go grocery shopping. So this is a good running errands kind of outfit. Starting off with Adenola leggings and a Varley sports bra. I did remove my actual bra from underneath this because it was very tight. Adenola socks, which are always cute. And then my Anina Bing um, sweatshirt over the top. I just love these. I feel like they make any outfit look so cool and they're just great for those more casual looks. Popping my hair into a ponytail and then adding my converse again. Obviously you don't need to wear shoes when doing Pilates, so no need for anything sporty. I wanted to wear a leather jacket to make it look a little bit more cool, but honestly it was freezing outside, so I went for my puffer. And then finishing off the look with my Louis Vuitton travel bag because I was staying at my boyfriend's house afterwards, so took a change of clothes. So that brings us to the end of this video. Please let me know what you guys think of this new way of filming hauls or just showing you guys outfits. I was kind of inspired by the way I film my reels and my TikToks and everything because I really enjoy that way of filming. So I thought, let's apply it to YouTube. But yes, give me some feedback. I'm very interested. And um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.